I barely like actually consciously DNF a book, even though there's like five books on my story graph that I'm currently reading. Hi, my name is Annalyn and today I'm going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. If you can hear crunching, that is my cat eating this dinner right down there because <laughs> i take his food his cat food these little nibbles and i hide them all over the house <laughs> so that he gets some exercise um so if that's what you hear <laughs> i've been a little bit absent from my channel but that has been because i've been in a bit of a reading slump for a few months there like i wanted to read stardust by neil gaiman and it's a very small book, so I figured I could make a vlog about it, be really quick, but I didn't like it <laughs> and I wasn't motivated to read it. So I kind of got in a rut there because I didn't want to put it aside and start reading something new. Like I wanted to give it a proper chance, but I also couldn't get myself to read it. And so I fell into this spiral, but then I decided to read something else entirely. <laughs> Um, and so now I can make more content about that. I'm working on two vlogs at the moment, two reading vlogs, uh, but because they're bigger projects, I wanted to make this video in the meantime so that you could get a little bit of content from me and stay up to date with what I am up to these days. And I also really wanted to make a video. <laughs> I'm glad to be back in the game. So this is a mid-year book the mid, the mid year book freak out tag? Is that correct? This tag is all about what have I been reading these past six months? What am I still going to be reading in the next six months? How is my reading goal going? Things like that. Also, before I start, let me know what some of your answers are to these questions. I put them in the description and I would love to know what you're reading, how your reading year has been so far and all that jazz. There's 13 questions and the first one is, Best book you've read so far. It's gotta be A Court of Silver Flames, the final book in the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Maas. I'm not even sure if it's like the final final book, you know, if there's going to be more or not, I'm not sure, uh, but I love this. This is about Nesta, Farrah's sister, and Cassian, I almost forgot his name, um, and it's their love story. <laughs> And it's really good. Um, the character development in this novel is huge, lovely. I love the writing style. There's some spicy scenes in there. <laughs> I will not go into detail about those. Um, but overall, just an amazing read. Um, this is a huge boy. It's like 700 pages, um, but I got through this really, really quickly. So best book of the year so far. Best sequel you've read so far, also A Court of Silver Flames? There will be no further explanation. New release you haven't read yet but really want to is the new Emily Henry book. It's called Happy Place. I read Book Lovers last year. It was a recommendation from a friend of mine and I loved it. I sped through it. So I'm really excited to read another Emily Henry book. I have not bought it yet because um, I just haven't found it in bookstores. Biggest disappointment was Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I started reading this thinking that this would be a quick read for some reason and I can't really put my finger on it. I didn't like it. It's The writing style is fine but just the story doesn't really grip me I guess. Um, this is about a, a guy, a boy, Tristran, who is half fairy, I think, who um, crosses the border into the fairyland to collect a fallen star, a shooting star, um, to bring back to the person that he is in love with. And so far, what I've seen is that he finds the shooting star, um, but it takes quite a while. I'm like halfway through. And um, it actually was really interesting. Like the moment that I stopped, maybe it would start to get better because um, the shooting star 
is a person and I did not expect that. Uh, so I might pick this up again um, in the future. But for right now, I decided to just put this aside so I can continue reading other books because I'm the kind of person who's like, yeah, but I'm reading that one book and I want to finish that first before I start reading the next one. I barely like actually consciously DNF a book, even though there's like five books on my story graph that I'm currently reading that I, <laughs> that I just stopped picking up and they've been on there. For months but i might actually finish it I'm not sure biggest surprise was a hundred percent the a court of thorns and roses series i started reading the first book back in september and i kind of lost interest for a while but then i picked it up in december finished it in january and then just sped through <laughs> the entire series I had always had been a little bit like skeptical towards Sarah J Maas because I thought it was YA and that I had just kind of outgrown it but um, Akatar is not YA um, and it's really good. Uh, her Throne of Glass series is considered YA but then also maybe not so I'm not sure if I want to read that. Not that I have anything against YA, it's just that in the recent years whenever I tried to read YA it didn't really grab my attention I guess. This is this is kind of what happened with um, Shadow and Bone. Like I liked it, it was fine um, and I do have the other books in the series but I haven't been very eager to keep reading, um, but I probably will just just to have finished the story. Um, but yeah, this is kind of why. I mean, this this kind of confirmed that YA isn't always for me. Even though I love like a good coming of age movie, like I love Never Have I Ever, <laughs> the Netflix series. So maybe I'm just reading the wrong YA books. Favorite new author, uh, Sarah J Maas, I guess. Um, I've read seven books this year and four of them, or five. Five of them, yeah, five, <laughs> have been Sarah J Maas books, so. Newest fictional crush, um, I guess Cassian from A Court of Silver Flames, or maybe Bliss from the other books in the series um yeah they're really good also this is not a new crush but i'm reading the hunger games i mean i've read the hunger games i'm reading catching fire i'm at the last chapter i really want to finish it after this video i'm going to finish it um and i love Peter. <laughs> that's an old crush but he's been reignited so i think it counts newest favorite character is it cheating if i say Peta again but also nesta from A Court of Silver Flames. She also she already appears in the earlier novels, but she is amazing in A Court of Silver Flames. She's complex, she is spiteful, she gets mad and angry, and she's very soft on the inside, she's insecure, she does things that she regrets, and I just really love her. I made an entire video about A Court of Silver Flames, so if you want to watch that, you can do so up here or up here. Book that made you cry, A Court of Wings of Ruin. <laughs> like at the end, at the end, have you read this book? Do you know what I'm saying? At the end, when Riz, yeah, <sighs> that part got to me. Book that made you happy, The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. I haven't read this series in like 12 years, I think, or 10 or 11 but i love it i love it like i got transported back to my teenage years and not that i want to go back to that time but it was nice to be back and i got reminded of like, being a little fangirl about this series and waiting for the movie to come out and watching the trailer over and over again and and all of that i could see this book play out as the movie in my head like i could hear certain quotes the way that j 
Jennifer Lawrence or Josh Hutcherson set them and it just made me incredibly happy. I'm currently, as I said, I'm reading Catching Fire. I'm making a whole vlog about this, reading this series because, and this answers the final question, I'm just skipping one, which is what book do you have to read by the end of the year? And that is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. This is the whole reason why I'm rereading The Hunger Games. I wanted to finish this book before the movie comes out. I've already made plans with a friend to go and see the movie. I am looking forward to starting this. Um, so after I've read Catching Fire, I'm obviously going to be reading Mockingjay. And then after that, this will be my next read. What I do think is funny is I have this copy from like 2011, 2012, right before the movie came out. It has this sticker like coming to theaters or cinemas in March of 2012. And this one also has a sticker like that. Um, and both of them are not removable, which sucks. But at least, especially this one, at least kind of matches the cover. So I'm not too bothered by it. Um, I do like that they are the same size but i do not like that this one doesn't really go with the other ones when you see them next to each other um they of course do sell like new versions of the hunger games original series but i have to admit that i do prefer this version and the question that i skipped but i will answer now is most beautiful book you bought this year or got or received or whatever and that is by far Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I really like the way it looks. I like the colors. I like all the illustrations. Like all of the other books that I got this year <laughs> are like very bare bones. Um, like the Akatar series. They're just like a solid color with some black illustration on it. So, um, so I really like this. And I also like that the chapters, the chapter titles are or like the chapter pages or whatever are nicely illustrated. So it's nothing too special or fancy, but I do quite like it. And that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that I can get into the habit of making videos again. I will be going on holiday in August for three to four weeks. So I'm not promising that I will upload every week, but I will definitely be making a travel vlog about that. And I will also probably do some reading in the meantime. So you will get some content from me, also some shorts. I will see you in the next, I will see you in the next one.